Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you a little bit more about Drumpo and how to use the CC Generator Multi. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So let's create two audio channel like so. And on the first one, we are going to instantiate Drumbo. So we're going to search for Drumbo like so. On the second one, we are going to load Terra Pro, which is really nice. I really recommend the synth. Let's choose um, something uh, like um, that. I know will work very well in terms of using CC messages. This 32 filter down. And the reason I'm showing it, um, or I'm using this one, is because I can use uh, filter one or filter two to modulate the different cutoff frequency. Okay, then let's connect the Rumbo to Terra Pro like so. Then we go here on the setting on the MIDI controls. We set up Rumbo as a MIDI source like so. We go back and then we start to scroll down. And we scroll down until we find the filter one and the cutoff. So we continue to scroll down until we see a filter one. There it is. And we are going to choose... A just the cutoff itself, which is this one filter one cutoff, no filter one cutoff or modulation source, etc. etc. Just the filter one cutoff. We're going to click here, we're going to activate it and leave it on CC0. Then we're going to filter number two, and we're going to search for filter two cutoff, like so. We select here to activate CC messages. You see there is a conflict here uh, because we're using the same CC. Number, so we're going to move this to one, which is also the one shared for modulation wheel. Okay, now, so let's go back to Drumbo. Let's maximize this and let's click on HUD here and let's go to MIDI and let's scroll down and then we'll see CC Generator Multi. Let's click on it and then let's also add a MIDI output here and let's choose that we send MIDI out, not MIDI feedback. The connection is already done. As you can see here, we have one dial. Let's add the second one because we want to modulate both the frequency cutoff for filter one and filter two. Now, let's double click on this first dial. You see, it gives you this, this menu. And at the top, you can change the name. For example, you can say filter one and then the CC number and then the value. Now, on the second one, we do the same. We just change the in name to uh, filter two. And then we change this time the SEC number to one. Now, let's um, um, minimize this a little bit. And let's bring Terra Pro up on the screen. Minimize this a little bit, like so. Now, let's act on the different controls, like so. You can see on the first one, we're changing the cutoff frequency. right? And then let's change the second one, like so. You can say we, you can see we're changing the cutoff frequency of the second filter. Okay, with the first dial we're changing the cutoff um, filter, um, the cutoff frequency for the filter number one. Okay, and this is uh, very useful. Let's connect this to the AUM keyboard like so because I want to uh, select a note. Now, what you can do, you can go back inside Rumble. Let's um, activate recording here. Let's say that we want to have four bars like so. And then uh, let's press to hold the note and let's click on the note and then adjust and record um, the adjustment on the different dials. recorded automation for these two dials. If we click here on the automation screen, you can see um, the automation for the, the filter one here. And if you click here on MIDI CC generator filter two, you see the uh, modulation for the filter two cutoff frequency. And of course, now you can click um, play and um, remove the recording, of course, and um, play now. You can see the uh, cutoff being adjusted, right? The cutoff frequencies. Which, of course, you can also open up Terra Pro and see that in action as well. And this 
this is how you modulate multiple multiple parameters, okay, using Drumbo CC uh, multi uh, generator module. And you've seen also that you can record in real time the adjustment of the different dials which are driving then the two different uh, cutoff uh, frequency for the two different filters inside um, TerraPro. And of course, you can go back to the automation curve and then use the tools inside Drumbo to further adjust the automation that you have created. And as I showed in the previous video, that is actually for one clip, but you can create additional clip and then do again the same. The other thing I would say uh, to uh, finish off here, you can add other dials. And if you want to add, for example, multiple MIDI CC generator multi, then at the end, I suggest you actually add also a midi mixer uh, to add them all together in which of course you will have to establish the right connection like so but this will enable you to bring in additional um, modulator um, and so on and so forth the additional thing as well you can do is that because these are dials you can link them for example to a modulator like an LFO and then uh, having those dial changed by an LFO so you could actually bring it in an LFO here. You can go to the modulator, bring in a mini LFO like so. Okay. And um, when you have done that, and just link, for example, the like so. And then you can actually say, all right, okay, I'm going to adjust these like so. And then, for example, let's say we go to another clip like so. And then here we have now um, the changes happening. And of course you could decide to have another LFO for the second a dial and so on and so forth. And additionally, if you want to also you can use the morph um, module as well, which is quite nice to act on the different controls because you can see them in operation changing here as well. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and demonstration on how to use the MIDI CC generator multi inside Drumbo. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.